Hey everyone, welcome to Chef Daniel TV. I'm gonna show you one of our amazing dishes here at, at Baker Street. It's our wonderful mushroom gnocchi. So what we're gonna do first of all, is get your pan on the heat, get some onions diced up, and we're gonna get some garlic. All we have to do with the garlic is quickly just slice it up and just slice it up nice and thin. You don't have to do anything too fancy to it. You don't have to do anything like that. Just simply get the garlic, the onion, and of course, our wonderful mushrooms. Get a mix of mushrooms. Go out, go crazy. Get all the mushrooms you can get. The more mushrooms, the merrier. So we're gonna slice up these mushrooms as well. We got some fields, we got some buttons, anything that you want. You can use all the different ones you like. But we've got some mushrooms just sliced up nice and thin. I think the secret to our dish is that we want to slice those mushrooms up really, really thin so they kind of break up really, really well as well. So we get some olive oil, pan's nice and hot, and we're going to sprinkle some olive oil into our pan. Give it a generous amount, don't be shy, making sure that pan is nice and hot as well. Really, really important. So olive oil, hot, ready to go. Secret, we're gonna get the thyme. Beautiful fresh thyme straight out of the garden. We're gonna throw that into the oil first and we're just gonna let that heat up. As that heats up, the, the kind of, the thyme leaves bruise and get scared and the oil's kind of perfume and fragrant. It's really, really gonna make this dish go from what will be wonderful to absolutely phenomenal. So, garlic in there as well. And we're gonna fry that garlic off. Little secret I have with garlic. If you simple, it's really, really simple. The bigger you leave the garlic, the longer you cook it for. The smaller you leave the garlic, the less you cook it for. So as you can see, I've sliced up the garlic. So what's gonna happen? It's gonna fry off. It's gonna really get that dish really aromatic. It's gonna taste amazing. So now we've got our onions. Because for, before salt ever got found, onions were the main source of flavor. We're gonna put our mushrooms in there. All our beautiful different mushrooms. And we just toss that in. As you can see, the mushrooms, the onion, the garlic, you could smell it all, right? You're gonna smell every single part. If you can't smell it, you can't taste it. So if you're gonna smell the garlic, smell the thyme, smell the mushrooms, you're gonna be able to taste every single bit into your dish. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna simply use store-bought gnocchi. You don't have to make your own if you don't have the time, okay? It's nice and cheap, you can go to your local supermarket, your local fruit and veg shop, and they usually have these wonderful store-bought gnocchis. That's amazing. So we've got our water, nice and hot. Really, really important though, is we wanna make sure that we season our water generously. And when I mean generously, got to make that baby taste like the ocean, right? You want to feel like you're going for a swim because the pasta is boring. We've got to give it some flavor. So we're going to throw in this wonderful gnocchi into our water. Now as it's happening, we've got some white wine and we're going to toss it through. Can you hear that? Happy sound. That wine is simply going to lift up all that flavor that kind of stuck on the bottom of the frying pan. So now it's all separated. And when you add in that cream, you got that cream in there and all that flavor is going to start to infuse with each other to give you the bigger flavor in every mouthful. Now, little secret, this stuff coming off it is steam. Steam is simply water. Water tastes like nothing. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna get rid of the nothingness and it's actually going to intensify the flavor before we put too much salt into our dish. But what's really cool is as that water comes out, the dish is gonna get thicker. The cream will get thicker. So when we put our gnocchi into our cream, it's actually gonna to start to coat and lather over the top of our gnocchi, giving you that mouthful of flavor every single time. So now a little bit of salt into there. We're gonna bring it to a boil. If you want, yes, you can put 100% uh, truffle oil in there. You can put some black pepper in there. I'm just gonna keep it nice and simple, right? It's lunchtime. You know, you just want something nice with your glass of Sav Blanc, your nice glass of Pinot Grigio. This is that dish. Some wonderful Australian mushrooms, reduced down in some cream, some beautiful gnocchi, and it's gonna be that easy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get our plate ready because We've got to make this look uh, pretty, of course. So now we'll grab our gnocchi. If you've got spaghetti or fettuccine or penne, you want to give it a good stir, right? Give it all a good stir all the time, make sure it doesn't stick. But our gnocchis, 
are coming out. As you can see, they're looking wonderful. And we always want to cook to al dente. We never want to overcook. Overcook, it's going to taste like little bits of mashed potato. We don't want that. We want to have that beautiful kind of slight crunch to our wonderful gnocchi. At the end of the day, it's not mashed potato balls, which a lot of people think they are, right? It's a pasta made out of potato, right? Which is an absolute great way to understand how far to cook it. So while this is reducing down, we'll give our gnocchi a bit of a stir, pull it out, and we're gonna place it into our pasta sauce. So why I put it in my pasta sauce while it's still reducing, and just before it gets to al dente, is that little bit of extra time is going to allow that pasta sauce and that gnocchi to really, really give you a wonderful flavor. There we go. A few more little pieces. Now, if you do love your meat, you could throw into this, you could put some chicken pieces, or you could grill off some lamb and place it over the top. It's actually amazing with some lamb. Lamb roast, you've got some lamb cutlets, you've got lamb rump, which is cool as well. Now, we'll give that a few minutes and I'll come back and see you again soon to finish it off and plate it up. Ready? As you can see, it's nice and thick. The gnocchi's coated with all that sauce. Oh, the mushroom, the thyme, the onion, the garlic, everything is coming out of this absolutely beautifully. So you can see how quick this takes at home. You could use an electric frying pan, an electric wok if you like, anything you want. It won't take very long at all. But now we're just going to place it on the plate, put our gnocchi and our wonderful mushrooms with that little bit of sauce. Nice and simple. And you remember it's gnocchi. You don't need a lot, okay? This is where it comes really great is because it's nice and filling and you could always go back for seconds. But uh, while you guys go off and try and cook this amazing dish, I'm gonna go off and eat it. But please, post and show me what yours looks like. I'm really, really excited to see everybody trying to cook this at home this winter. But guys, thank you very, very much. Until the next episode, we'll see you.